part 12 I believe I'll change it on the title if I have to so I welded it sanded it down ground it I didn't take any pictures I'm back to this point I was just trying to get this thing back together as you can see from what's in the picture <laughs> the tolerance is so tight it's incredible so I made sure I mic'd it the shaft is just the right size it's just under two inches for the for the cavity that's in the bottom part and the half inch rod of course is going up through there that it milled for it so extremely tight i have zero tolerance this is uh basically the wobble you see in the photo is the actual whole unit moving it's you know the flex so i have another half inch to go in there to where the original set screw was so I'm tapping it down with the hand sledge because it is extremely tight. So hopefully that takes care of what you has taken care of any wobble. This is, I'll put this down here. This is just solid. It just, it's, it's not going anywhere. So uh, definitely no tolerance in the, uh, in the shaft since I have to tap it down to get it to go seated all the way. So. Hopefully that works out for me. Uh, never buy Tessa, man. It's as simple as that. It's, no one goes to this extent to try to make this thing work. It's not a plug and play company. It's just a scam. So I do like, like I said before, I do like the design. I do like it, but it's not aerodynamically designed. It's not balanced. It's not anything to tolerances that you need. So I guess it's a waste of money and project time. <laughs>